the internal storage memory of the PlayStation Vita Slim is only 1GB. This video will show you how to add extra storage to your PS Vita using a microSD card and an SD to Vita card adapter. And at the end of the video, you will get expanded internal storage depending on the storage size of your microSD card. So let's get started. So the primary purpose of this guide is to replace the ridiculously expensive PS Vita memory card with an affordable micro SD card plus an SD2 Vita adapter. And as you see on the screen, the official 64GB PS Vita memory card is $93, while the micro SD card with the same storage capacity is only $12 and the SD2 Vita adapter is only $9. So that brings you the total of $21 only, and that's a huge gap. But before we begin, I have to tell you that SD2 Vita only works when you have installed custom firmware on your console. So for those who haven't, you can watch my previous video on how to mod your PS Vita. So let's begin. First, open your web browser and download the auto plugin VPK and save it to your computer. You can find the link in the description below. First, you need to make sure that you have enabled the Wi-Fi and connected the console to the same network as your computer. The next step is to open Vita Shell. Then press the Start button and make sure the Select button is set to FTP. Now press the Start button to go back and press the Select button to activate the FTP connection. Notice the IP address shown on the screen. Now open your FTP client such as FlashFXP and make a new connection based on a given IP address. Now select the UX0 partition and transfer that partition to the computer. This will ensure that you won't lose all the installed apps and games. Then navigate to the UX0 partition and enter the data folder. Then transfer the autoplugin.vpk into this folder. The next step is to download a blank image file and win 32 this imager from vida.hex.guide site. Then insert the micro SD card into the computer. Now install and run the win 32 this imager application. Now insert the micro SD card into the computer. Now select the blank image file. Then select the micro SD card drive flatter and press right. Now open the micro SD card. And press format disk. Choose the default file system that is XFET and press start to begin formatting. Open the UX0 partition backup folder on the desktop. Then copy the content of the UX0 partition we copied earlier to the micro SD card. Now press select to disconnect the FTP connection. Then navigate to the UX0 partition and enter the data folder. Select the auto plugin.vpk, then install it. Then ignore the warning to confirm the installation. Then press triangle and delete the installer file. Now close the Vita shell. Take your micro SD card and insert it into the SD2 Vita adapter. Then insert it into the console. Then run the auto plugin application. Select plugin for Vita. Then select install plugin for SD to Vita. Press circle to proceed with the installation. Now you can leave the setting as default, 
but I want to enable the PS Vita internal memory, so I set it as IMC0. Then press triangle to save the current configuration. And the console will reboot. If you open the cartridge port, you will see that the orange LED is now blinking. It means that the SD2 Vita is working. Now open Vita Shell. Now you can see that the UX0 storage capacity is now upgraded, and you can still see the internal storage as IMZ0. So there you go. You have completed the guide on how to set up SD2 Vita using the auto plugin. And as usual, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on the next videos. Goodbye.